Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Galileo Sky and we continue learning more about EasyLogic algorithms in our EasyLogic Creators videos. In the fourth group of videos, you will learn how to use polygonal geofences in the algorithms, how to set condition checking in set time period, how to send custom data to the server, and how to control internal modules of the tracker. We will start with polygonal geofences in the algorithms. In the description, you'll find a link to a video on how to create polygonal geofences from KML files create them and load them to the tracker. And pay attention that the numbers of the geofences that we'll further use in EasyLogic depend directly on the order in which you place them in the KML file. In the algorithm, the attribute of the tracker being a certain geofence is written into geofence variable in the navigation section. Variable shows the number of the geofence tracker is inside at the moment. One, two, and so on, from the highest geofence in the file structure to the lowest. If the tracker is outside of all geofences, variable is equal to minus 1. In order to check if the tracker entered any geofence, we just set a condition that geofence variable is more than 0. However, if you need different reactions for different geofences, for example, set different speed limits, we need to create a chain of conditions, like we did before in the driving style algorithm. If the file contains several geofences and each needs a unique reaction, we can just set each condition to check specific geofence number. But it's more often that clients need to have many geofences with the same limits. For example, a group of geofences setting speed limits of 20 km per hour, 40 and so on. In that case, it is recommended to place geofences in the KML file in such order that zones with common parameters are having positions close to each other and set the checking process according to these groups. Let's show you an example. Imagine we have 100 geofences. We edit them into file in such a way that first 59 zones share common speed limit of 60 km per hour, next 16, 80 km per hour, and the last 25, 100. We'll create the algorithm logic accordingly. Let's add condition that if the tracker is in any geofence, we check that the geofence number is less than 60. This way we check first group of geofences. By false arrow we add another condition, that the geofence number is less than 76. The last condition closing the checking process of 100 geofences is not needed. We already checked that the tracker is inside a geofence, which is not included into first or second group. It means that current geofence is in the third group. For all true arrows, we add corresponding speed limits. We also add general speed limit when the vehicle is outside any of the geofence, 90 km per hour. In case there is speed violation, we activate a buzzer, for example, on output 0. With such simple structure, we set checking of 100 geofences according to four different speed limits. Pretty simple, isn't it? In our next video, we'll show how to check conditions during a certain time period. Follow the link to the video.